Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Let's talk daylight tracker. So beginning tomorrow, we're going to have less than 10 hours of daylight. The sunrise tomorrow is at 7.06 a.m. The sunset is at 5.05 p.m. And then we're going to have less than 10 hours of daylight until January the 20th of 2023. Let's show you what we're seeing right here right now on the local view. And although we have a couple of clouds here or there, maybe a couple of clouds, say, towards uh, Pennsylvania County near Danville. Outside of that, man, we've seen a lot of sunshine today. It was a pretty nice day to be outside, especially if you like chilly temperatures <laughs> and you like wearing a heavy coat because it was needed today. Now for tonight, skies are going to be fair Tuesday. I think we're going to be uh, fairly sunny most of the day. There could be a couple of clouds here or there, especially the further south you go. But for the most part, tomorrow's going to be pretty bright and pretty sunny. That will lead us to a fair sky as we head into Tuesday night. And then Wednesday will be another day where uh, we see our fair share of sunshine. And that being said, don't be surprised late Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thanksgiving Day for slowly but surely to see these clouds thickening a little bit. All right, so I still think we're mainly sunny on Wednesday. Wednesday night we could turn partly cloudy and then on Thanksgiving Day we may actually turn mostly cloudy very late in the day. Now as far as the upper level air pattern on Thanksgiving Day, I still think we're going to be dry. All right, temperatures are actually going to be in the 50s and 60s. It's not going to feel too bad out there on Thanksgiving Thursday. By Friday, we're going to have a low pressure system starting to bring us a better chance for some rain. So we're going to turn wet at times. It's not a washout on Black Friday as you head out shopping, but I would still have the umbrella uh, with you. And it looks like also on Black Friday, because of the additional cloud cover, because of the additional rain showers, we're going to be a little bit cooler than on Thanksgiving Day. And then Saturday, it looks like we're going to be windy and colder with some mountain snow showers possible, maybe even a few leftover rain showers in the Piedmont early in the day. But overall, it looks like our next best chance for rain will come Friday, Friday night into early Saturday. By later on Saturday, I think we're going to start to dry things out a little bit. 45 right now, Lynchburg, 48 in Roanoke, mid to upper 40s as we speak in Blacksburg, Martinsville, Danville, and South Boston. A little bit colder in Hot Springs where your temperature is at 39. It has been an up and down November for us. Through November the 12th, it was the warmest November ever on record. And then the 13th through the 21st happened, and we have been below average ever since. As a matter of fact, in Roanoke, so far through this day, we're about 2.4 degrees above average still even after all these blue boxes. So overall, yes, the first of the month was very, very warm, but we've made up for lost time and for about the last week or so temperatures have actually been below average. Your temperature outlook here as we look ahead, uh, say beginning late this week into next weekend is one of above average temperatures. So it does look as though we're going to turn warmer here pretty soon. So there lies some good news. If you're sick and tired of the cold air, rest assured things are going to change here pretty soon. Not as cold as last night. Tonight overnight lows about 23 to 30. Three days zone by zone forecast showing highs in the NRV for the next three days in the 50s. Across the highlands, your dry Tuesday through Thursday. Your warmest day on the south side will be Wednesday where temperatures could hit the lower 60s. And in Lynchburg, you are looking at your warmest day also being Wednesday, 61. Then you fall into the 50s Thursday, Friday and Saturday, a little bump up in temperature by Sunday. Cross the Roanoke Valley, next chance for rain will lie Friday into early Saturday. Could be another little storm system bringing us a few showers on Sunday, but overall the weekend doesn't look too bad at this point.